friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day to Lose Weight on WW. I cannot wait to share all of my food for today with you. You're going to see my breakfast, my lunch, my dinner with a great, great recipe as well as all of my snacks and of course my dessert. So if you want to see what I eat on a regular day, calories included, then all you have to do is keep watching. Someone is happy dad spent Saturday mowing the yard. I really don't understand why he lays in the rocks rather than in the grass, but Diesel loves to lay right there because he can see the road and everything that's going on. He's so cute. So cute. So here's my breakfast for today. I made this breakfast potato casserole for an upcoming collab, so you will get to see the recipe on May 9th in a progressive dinner collab, but this is so good. So I decided to go ahead and have a slice of it for breakfast. Essentially there's potatoes, eggs, sausage, cheese, yumminess. So I'm going to have one serving of my breakfast potato casserole. I'm also going to have some blueberries, Yum, these are finely fresh and delicious and sweet. We are getting into the season of fruit. So excited. And then I'm going to have a glass of my pink light cranberry. Oh, Lord. These dogs are mine today. So this is zero smart points. It is only five calories per eight ounces. So I'm going to have a glass of that. So my entire breakfast is only four smart points. I got my Amazon delivery today, so I wanted to show you what I grabbed. I'm going to link all of this down in my Amazon store. So I saw this on WW Coffee Mama. This is a pastry pizza roller, but it is small for two ingredient dough. I find that my regular size roller is just too big and cumbersome when I'm making the two ingredient dough. So this is like less than $4. So I picked it up so that I could use it to make pizzas, pies, you name it, this is a great tool. It has a small end and a large end for the roller. I also finally bought a ring light for my YouTube videos. There's sometimes that I just film and the light isn't that great. So I went ahead and spent the money on and purchased a ring light for YouTube. And then I bought a nine piece accessory kit for my Instant Pot. I did my research guys and this is the least expensive one on Amazon. So let me show you everything that comes in it. The cost is just under $21. So you do receive an egg mold. So I think I paid $21 just for my two egg molds. And in this kit, you actually get an egg mold with a lid. This is one of the main reasons I wanted to buy this kit. And this is to do the hard boiled eggs in the Instant Pot. So your eggs just sit nicely in there. It keeps them up off of the bottom of the pot as well so that they don't crack and stick to the bottom. It came with these silicone scrubbers and these are used to clean out the cake pan. So they just have those nubs on them so it makes it cleaning a little bit easier. I love these, these are mitts. So you put these on your hands and it helps you pull things out of your Instant Pot so that you don't get burned. I came, it came with this cake pan. This is one of the main things because I have quite a few Instant Pot recipes coming your way, dessert related that require a nice pan. And that is also what these scrubbies are for is to clean that pan. This is another main thing I was after and that is a steamer basket. So you can steam vegetables and things in your Instant Pot. It also came with a handle for the basket. And then this is a bowl clip so that you can put this on your bowl and pull it out of your Instant Pot. So an amazing set, everything you'd ever need for an Instant Pot for 21 bucks. So I'm gonna link all of this down in my Amazon store, but Amazon just made my day. 
It is morning snack time. It is almost 10 o'clock. I ate my breakfast a little before seven. So I have here a bottle of water and then I'm also going to have the banana chocolate cream Bilt Bar, you guys. This flavor of Bill Bar is so good. It tastes like a real chocolate covered banana. Some people say it reminds them of the banana runts or the banana Laffy Taffy, but I feel like it tastes like a frozen chocolate covered banana that you get at the fair because my bar is actually frozen. So it literally tastes like that. So good. The promotion for these banana chocolate Bill Bars is only going for one more day if they're not already sold out by the time you guys see this video. So make sure you hop on BuiltBar.com and order yourself some of the chocolate banana cream Built Bars. Three smart points of deliciousness. These are so, so good. So I'm going to have this as my morning snack. It gives me 15 grams of protein, so it will tide me over until lunch. And then of course, I'm gonna pair that with a little bit of water while I do some editing. So, Bon Appetit Built Bar. I did forget to mention that I do have a 10% discount code that will give you 10% off and free shipping. You can reuse my code, so that is awesome. I'm gonna have it here on the screen, and of course, it will be linked down in the description box below. My discount codes that I can offer you guys are always, always down in the description box. Look at the bed from you two fighting. Why are you guys fighting on the bed? You guys, come on. Mommy makes the bed, and then this is what it looks like 10 minutes later. You fight, you clean each other. I'm telling you, these two are bestest friends. Diesel, Lola, hey. Hi. So this is what I am having for lunch today. Of course, Diesel is right here. Hi, buddy. Because I'm getting ready to have lunch, so he's always right here with me. So, yeah, you. So for lunch today, I decided to go ahead and make a bacon and avocado bagel. I'm going to have some of my sweet corn pasta salad that I meal prepped and some red grapes. So here for my sandwich, I have it on one of the Perfect 10 Plus Western bagels. This entire full-size bagel is only two smart points. I love these. You do have to get the Perfect 10 Plus and you do have to get the healthy green for them to be two smart points, but they are so incredibly good and filling. They are 140 calories, but they have 20 grams of protein. So they keep you nice and full. Western Bagel has several different types of bagels, tons of different flavors. They range anywhere from two smart points to five smart points, depending on the bagel. They also have baglets, which are smaller bagels. Those are only one smart point. So make sure that you hop on westernbagel.com. Use my discount code. I'll put it here on the screen. It will save you 10%. You can take advantage of the build a box deal where you get to pick six different types of bagels, whatever kinds you want. They will ship them for free for only $37. And then if you use my 10% discount code, you save another 10%, which is about $4 off of that. So that is a steal. So definitely check out Western Bagel. I have two slices of the Private Selection Center Cut Bacon. I also have one Smart Point worth of avocado. This is the avocado I love. This is from Costco. This is frozen avocado chunks. That way your avocado doesn't go bad, which happens to me every time. So I love to buy these frozen avocado chunks. I pop as many out as I want, and then I let them defrost and add them to my sandwich. This is one smart point of avocado. I have one half of a teaspoon of light mayo. So my sandwich is two for the bagel, one for the avocado, one for the bacon. I am not counting the mayo because it is less than a teaspoon. So it is four smart points. My grapes are zero and my sweet corn pasta salad that you saw in my Monday meal prep video is a total of three smart points. So this, my friends, is a seven smart point lunch. All of this, seven smart points. Look what I just picked up. Happy Mail, I had two separate packages in my P.O. box, so first, I love this. This is from Amazon, so it has a cute little gift tag with a nice little note on it. It came in this gorgeous blue bag. 
And also inside was a special note. So thank you, Sharon. I about lost it when I saw this. Look at this, you guys. I love Ray Dunn. And this is a Ray Dunn travel mug that says namaste and i actually have this coffee mug as well i have wanted to get a ray dunn travel mug to take to work i drink a lot of hot tea and this is perfect so sharon you made my entire day i love the beautiful bag it came in i love 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 my travel mug thank you for the sweet note thank you thank you thank you i also received another happy mail from my subscriber Christy this is really cute she has name embossed cards which I love she sent me a sweet card but what I love that she sent me is she said she watched my get to know the person behind the channel collab video and she sent me a whole letter which I loved about her so just things about her so I could get to know her better Thank you, Christy. It really warms my heart. It was so nice to get to know you a little bit better other than just what you sent here in this card. So thank you, my dear. She also sent me this super cute Starbucks water bottle. This is awesome. I'm gonna take this to work. And in this adorable box, this is awesome, you guys. She sent me this candle. And I'm assuming that this is a local candle company. It's Mame or Mamie candle out of Leveland, Texas. But check this out, you guys. This candle, the scent is Joy. And I don't think Christy knew this, but Joy is my middle name. So that is so awesome. It's like fate. Like it was supposed to be that you sent me the Joy candle. It smells fresh, summery, delicious. And it came in this super cute little box. She also, from the same candle company, sent me some wax melts. I have Scentsy Burners. You can see one right over there, all over my house. So she sent me some wax melts for my Scentsy Burner. Super excited. And lastly, she sent me this adorable Starbucks gift card. So all of this came from my subscriber and new friend, Christy, as well as my new friend, Sharon. So thank you so much for the happy mail. My PO box is always linked down in the description box below. I love it if all you send me is a note so I can get to know you guys better. And I always send a thank you card in return. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Sharon. It is three o'clock. I just got done cleaning my entire house. I definitely need to shower, but I'm gonna have a little snack before I have my shower. So this is the Tiramisu Light and Fit Greek non-fat yogurt. What I have on top here is about a tablespoon of the Julian Bakery Pro Granola. This is the espresso cluster. I love this granola. It is so good. Look at this, 12 grams of protein in a serving, three grams carbs, 14 fiber, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, no artificial anything. This is seriously an amazing product. You can have a half of a cup for two smart points. It even has probiotics and prebiotics. But what I like to do is just dab about a tablespoon on top of my yogurt to give it that crunch and that is zero points. So if you're interested in picking up some pro granola, they have several flavors including vanilla, vanilla cinnamon blueberry, peanut butter, and brand new chocolate. I will have a link down in the description box below. All you have to do is click on that link and enter the discount code here on the screen and you will get 10% off and free shipping. So I'm going to enjoy my snack. I'm gonna take a shower and then we're gonna get ready for dinner. I'm still a little bit hungry after my yogurt. So I decided that I was going to have some of my Popcorners Flex Protein Crisps. These are barbecue. This entire bag is only two smart points, 24 crisps. Awesome, these are so good, you guys. I got these on nettrition.com, but I'm sure that you could find these at other grocery stores or vitamin stores, but these are super good. This should tide me over until dinner. It is sunny outside, so I'm gonna make myself some sun tea. So I'm going to put eight of these green tea peach paradise tea bags into my sun tea pitcher here. And then I'm gonna put this outside in the sun and let this cook the entire day. I cannot wait. It is definitely feeling like some iced tea season. 
Alrighty, she is on my patio table directly into the sun and she should come out with delicious peach green tea at the end of the day. So I'll show it to you guys when I pull it in before tonight. So while I'm out here, look at how beautiful it is outside today. My husband spent the whole day yesterday mowing our yard, so it looks super, super good. Next up is weeds. Look at all these weeds. Seriously, I sprayed around up a thousand times last summer and look at all my weeds. So that is my project next weekend to pull these weeds, spray with Roundup, and then put down some preen. And look who's joined me outside. Hi, buddy. Mommy was making her tea. Diesel. Hey. Mama's making her tea. All right, buddy. We're going in. But yeah, beautiful day. Perfect for sun tea. Just went and got my sun tea off of my back patio. Yum, you guys. Look at how good that looks. I'm going to pop out the tea bags and then put this in the fridge. And I cannot wait to have peach green tea. Super excited. For dinner tonight, we are having basil chicken pesto alfredo. I cannot wait to have this. I'm feeling some pasta. I haven't had alfredo in ages because... Alfredo has a lot of points. So I'm going to make a WW friendly version. So let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. So first you're going to need some flour, some olive oil. Sorry, my label is oily, but this is the Trader Joe's organic olive oil, fat free half and half, Angel hair pasta or spaghetti. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Fiber Gourmet Light Spaghetti. I love these noodles. They are only three points for two ounces versus six points for two ounces of regular noodles. And you cannot tell the difference. I make them all the time, my husband has no clue. So if you're interested in these, I do have these linked in my Amazon store down below. And then you're also going to need some salt and of course some pepper. The recipe called for Creole seasoning. I am gonna go ahead and use Dax Italian Blast. It is super similar to Creole. It does have a little bit of bite. Dax seasonings are amazing. All natural, salt free. Like it says here, look ma, no salt. Salt free seasonings. I do have a 10% discount code that will get you 10% off and free shipping down in the description box. So if you're interested in some fabulous all real ingredient spices. I highly recommend Dax. I'm also going to be using some organic chicken breast tenders. You're also going to need some garlic, some basil pesto, some light butter, and last but not least, some Parmesan cheese. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing that we need to do is get our chicken seasoned. So I'm using some chicken breast tenders. You can also use thin cut chicken breast as well. We're gonna be adding some of our Dax Italian Blast, which substitutes for our Creole seasoning. This does have a little bit of a kick. The recipe calls for three quarters of a teaspoon. You can see here that I've added just a skosh to the bottom of my bag because it is pretty spicy. And then we are also going to be adding our pesto sauce. So the recipe wants us to add three tablespoons. My tablespoon does not fit in this jar. So I'm gonna go with a half a tablespoon. So there's one. So that's one tablespoon, one and a half, two, two and a half, and three. So there is our pesto. And then lastly, we're gonna go ahead and pop in our chicken. So I'm just gonna toss in my little tenderloins and we're gonna get those nice and coated in the pesto and the Dax Italian Blast should be so good and then you're just going to let your chicken sit in this sauce marinade for a while while you cook down the pasta and do a couple other pieces of your prep so go ahead close up your bag and then you're just going to want to massage your chicken in with that pesto and in with that creole seasoning okay yum already you guys Yummy yum. And pesto is pretty darn high in points. So I like that this recipe doesn't use very much, but you still get that delicious pesto ambiance and flavor. So there is our chicken coated in the pesto. I'm gonna go ahead and just put this in the fridge while we get going on our pasta. 
Once your water starts to come to a boil, we're gonna go ahead and add in our pasta and let this cook down. Once it's cooked, we're gonna go ahead, drain it and rinse it with some cold water so our spaghetti noodles do not stick together. That's a pro tip to keep your noodles from sticking together. And then we'll just set those aside until the rest of our dinner is completed. But these noodles are super good. This is what they look like coming out of the package. While our pasta is cooking, go ahead and warm up a skillet, spray it with some non-stick cooking spray, and then we are going to add our chicken to this so that we can get our chicken starting to cook down. This is also something you could do on your outdoor barbecue grill if you would rather, but there's our chicken. It looks super good. We're gonna get this cooked all the way through. Our noodles are just about done. So we'll go ahead and drain them, rinse them with some cold water. We are going to use this pan here to prepare our pasta in. And then our chicken is cooking. Look at how yummy that looks. It smells so good in here, like fresh, delicious basil. So we're gonna let this cook and then we're gonna get going on the rest of our dinner in this large pot. Once you drain your pasta, you're gonna add two tablespoons of light butter and one tablespoon of olive oil to your large pan. From there, you're gonna go ahead and add in your minced garlic. Let that cook down for about one minute. Once your garlic cooks down for about a minute, we are gonna go ahead and add in the other tablespoon of pesto. So there's half a tablespoon and one more tablespoon. We'll add that. We're gonna let that cook down for about 30 seconds. Get it nice and the flavors melted together. And then we'll be adding in our flour and our half and half and our chicken. I just flipped it. It is finishing up cooking and looking super good. Once your pesto gets mixed in with the rest of your dish, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of the Dax Italian Blast, just a tiny, tiny bit. And then from there, we are going to add one half of a tablespoon of flour and we're gonna get that mixed together and then we'll add in two cups of fat free half and half and let that mix together and start to thicken up so then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna add in your two cups of fat free half and half give that a good stir this is going to be our pesto alfredo. We're gonna let this cook down a little bit with that flour, give it an opportunity to thicken up. Once your sauce has started to thicken, we're gonna go ahead and add one half of a cup of Parmesan cheese. We are gonna give that a stir. Ooh, we are steamy. Let me pull my camera back a little here. We're gonna go ahead and stir that into the fat-free half and half. Look at this, you guys, yum. Basil alfredo. What could be better? And then to this, we're gonna go ahead and add back in our spaghetti noodles. And then our chicken is done, just ready to top our pasta. So next, we're gonna go ahead and add back in our spaghetti noodles. And then we are just going to take some tongs. Sorry, we're, we're steamy again, guys. We're gonna go ahead and take some tongs and we're just gonna mix the noodles in with that sauce. Oh, yum. Oh my gosh, you have no idea how delicious my house smells. I seriously wish cameras had smell-o-vision because it smells like an Italian restaurant in here. Oh my goodness, look at this, yum. So we're gonna get those noodles nice and coated with the Alfredo sauce, plate it up, show you our dinner. All right, so here is our dinner. Look at how amazing this looks. So we have one-sixth of the recipe. So that is the pasta with the Alfredo sauce two of the chicken tenders. This is better than an Italian restaurant. You can still have basil. You can still have Alfredo on WW. This entire dinner is seven smart points. That's it for Alfredo chicken with basil. So this, my friends, is going to be my seven smart point dinner. Someone's really cozy outside. She always likes to lay on her dog bed when it's sunny. She's hilarious, look at her. And her mouth is wide open, happy as a little clam. So here's what I'm having for dessert. I'm going to have a package of the Smart Sweets Gummy Bears. I did pour them into this dish here so you can see how many you get. 
you actually do get quite a few and it is only three smart points. I believe that you can have five regular gummy bears for three smart points. So this is definitely a good deal. If you're interested in smart sweets, I do have a discount code that will get you free shipping on your order. I will put that here on the screen and it is linked down in the description box below. So this is dessert and this is my final meal for today. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day to Lose Weight on WW. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the food that I ate throughout the day today, as well as seeing the calories, a little day in the life, a little fun, a little dog action. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. That way you'll be notified each and every time that I upload a new video. Give this one a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this, what I eat in a day. How do you feel about calories? Do you count them? Do you just take a peek at them in the WW app? Or what do you do when it comes to points and calories? Have a great day. See you guys in my next video. Bye.